Hello. Susan Mealing, Reverend Mealing. Reverend Susan Mealing. <laughs> Lady Dory Bell. Lady Mealing. So many nicknames that I've had over the years, that names that I've gone by. Um, so continuing with reading from the Book of Mormon. We'll do that. I will say when I was in Washington State um, and uh, the elders um, came by with the Book of Mormon, read it in print and uh, among a bunch of other books along with the Jehovah Witnesses books and magazines and stuff, read those. So uh, I'm going to go into the book of 1 Nephi, we'll start off with chapter 1 of, so book 1 of Nephi, chapter 1, of the book of Mormon. The first book of Nephi, Reign and Ministry, an account of Leah and his wife Sarai, and four sons being called, beginning at the eldest, Laman, Lemuel, Sam, and Nephi. The Lord warns Nephi to depart out of the land of Jerusalem because of the prophecy unto the people concerning their iniquity and their seek to destroy the life. He taketh three days' journey into the wilderness with his family, Nephi taketh his brethren and returneth to the land of Jerusalem after the record of the Jews. The account of their sufferings, they take the daughters of Ishmael to wife. They take their families and depart into the wilderness. Their sufferings and afflictions in the wilderness, the course of their travels. They come to the large waters. Nephi's brethren rebel against him. He confoundeth them and buildeth the ship. They call the name of the place Bountiful. They cross the large waters into the promised land and so forth. This is according to the account of Nephi, or in other words, I, Nephi, wrote this record. So I'm going to pause right there and point out that but I went to the only Renaissance fair that I'd ever gone to, which was called Excalibur. The last year that it was open, I was surrounded by a bunch of guys dressed up in I don't know what, and they jumped out of trees. And then they were mad because I wasn't speaking in Renaissance language. So I just added F <laughs> to the end of everything. Because I was going to take their weapons from them and use their weapons on them. Because they had swords unsheathed and, and daggers and mace and all these other things. And I was just like, I will use them against you. And then they were, you're not speaking in the language. And I'm like, I will it. Kick it. Or <laughs> is it that it good it enough it? I'm not good at kidding. <laughs> they didn't seem to like that. I didn't. I don't. <laughs> so, excuse me. Chapter 1. Nephi begins a record of the people. Lehi sees the, in a vision a pillar of fire and reads from a book of prophecy praising God, foretelling the coming of the Messiah, and prophesies the destruction of Jerusalem. 
though persecuted by the Jews around 600 BC. BC is before Christ. For those who don't know. So, one, I'll just, I, Nephi, having been born of goodly parents, therefore I was taught somewhat in all the learning of my father, and having seen many afflictions in the course of my days, nevertheless, having been highly favored of the Lord in all my days, yea, having had a great knowledge of the goodness and the mysteries of God, therefore I make a record of my proceedings in my days. Yea, I make a record in the language of my father, which consists of the learning of the Jews in the language of the Egyptians. <coughs> Excuse me. And I know that the record which I make is true, and I make it with mine own hand, and I make it according to my knowledge. For it came to pass in the commencement of the first year of the reign of Zechadi, Zedekiah, King of Judah, my father Lehi, having dwelt at Jerusalem in all his days, and in that same year there came many prophets prophesying unto the people that they must repent or the great city Jerusalem must be destroyed. Irony, my biological father had to deal with my biological mother and biological sister. Just saying. <clears throat> Just throwing that out there. And those who have met my biological mother and my biological sister understand what I mean <laughs> by that Lackland Air Force Base learned about my biological mother's crying that I grew up with. You see why I felt that? I'm like, <laughs> one of many reasons. Just like that. And, and, and then, like, then there's Grandpa Nichols, and, and he had to deal with Mary Evangelina Nichols Osteen and Susie Marie Nichols Lopez. Yeah. Yeah. Feel bad for that guy? Yes. <laughs> you ever met Susie Marie Nichols Lopez and or Mary Evangelina Nichols Osteen? You feel bad for Tony, don't you? You feel bad for Grandpa Nichols, don't you? Yes, you do. I know you do. <laughs> you have to. <clears throat> Especially if, as Mike says, he's medicated now. If they're medicated and did that with they were like, what happened? What did you do? Just saying. Wherefore it came to pass that my father Lehi, as he went forth, prayed unto the Lord, yea, even with all his heart, in behalf of his people. And it came to pass, as he prayed unto the Lord, there came a pillar of fire and dwelt upon a rock before him. And he saw and heard much, and because of the things which he saw and heard, he did quake and tremble exceedingly. And it came to pass that he returned to his own house at Jerusalem, and he cast himself upon his bed, being overcome with the spirit and the things which he had seen. And being thus overcome with the Spirit, he was carried away in a vision, even that he saw the heavens open, and he thought he saw God sitting upon his throne, surrounded with numberless concourses of angels in the altitude of singing and praising their God. And it came to pass that he saw one descending out of the midst of heaven, and he beheld that the luster was above that of the sun at noonday. <clears throat> and he also saw twelve others following, and their brightness did exceed that of the stars in the firmament. And they came down and went forth upon the face of the earth. And the first came and stood before my father and gave unto him a book and bade him that he should read. And it came to pass that as he read, he was filled with the spirit of the Lord. And he read, saying, Woe, woe unto Jerusalem, for I have seen many of thine abominations. Yea, and many things did my father read concerning Jerusalem, that it should be destroyed, and the inhabitants thereof many should perish by the sword, and many should be carried away captive into Babylon. And it came to pass that when my father had read and seen many great and marvelous things, he did exclaim many things unto the Lord, such as great and marvelous are thy works, O Lord God Almighty. 
Thy throne is high and in the heavens, and thy power and goodness and mercy are over all the inhabitants of the earth. And because thou art merciful, thou wilt not suffer those who come unto thee that they perish. And after this manner was the language of my father in the praising of his God, for his soul did rejoice, and his whole heart was filled because of the things which he had seen, yea, which the Lord had shown unto him. And now I, Nephi, do not make a full account of the things which my father hath written, for he hath written many things which he saw in visions and in dreams, and he also hath written many things which he prophesied and spake unto his children, of which I shall not make the full account. But I shall make an account of my proceedings in my days. Behold, I make an abridgment of the record of my father upon the plates which I have made with mine own hands, wherefore, after I have abridged the record of my father, then will I make an account of mine own life. That's ironic because <clears throat> of finding a silver lining in specific, but also finding the silver lining, but yeah, mainly finding a silver lining. Therefore, I would that ye should know that after the Lord hath shown so many marvelous things unto my father, Lehi, yea, concerning the destruction of Jerusalem, behold, he went forth among the people and began to prophesy and declare unto them concerning the things which he had both seen and heard. Probably in reverence to Anna and Patricia, but also my ex-in-laws, and then, you know, Cactus Jack talking about 151 and that stuff I'm sure and then maybe some things in reference to even my dead ex-husband among several other things not forgetting New Jersey in regards to the fight at St. John Vanney High School um, the Taekwondo competition um, several other things not forgetting, you know, stuff that he himself had done in, in the jewelry business and where he had gone in New York and stuff like that, as well as uh, when I was sick, among many, many other things in the church. And it came to pass that the Jews did mock him because of the things which he testified of them, for he truly testified of their wickedness and their abominations, and he testified that the things which he saw and heard, and also the things which he read in the book, manifested plainly in the coming of the Messiah, and also the redemption of the world. And when the Jews heard these things, they were angry with him, yea, even as with the prophets of old, whom they cast out and stoned and slain, they also sought his life that they might take it away. But behold, I, Nephi, will show unto you that the tender mercies of the Lord are over all those whom he hath chosen because of their faith to make them mighty even unto the power of deliverance. And my biological father, Mike, he, he didn't get into um, technology. He, um, he was very much um, not interested in... Um, not saying that he wasn't interested in the availability of technology stuff, but like cell phones, he didn't want to have anything to do with that. Um, I gave him the digital camera that I had purchased on um, eBay the, the, with the kit and the bundle and stuff like that because I couldn't figure out how to do certain things. and. I was able to figure out certain things, but a lot of the other stuff I couldn't figure out. And so I knew that he was into photography before, and he was into film photography. And I was like, you know, this is the camera that I use to take pictures of Patricia's wedding with. And, you know, the air show and stuff like that. So if you want to, you know take the camera because it's going to go to waste and I don't like things going to waste. Um, here's, and I gave him all of the lenses and stuff like that. Gave him the little chippy things. I was like, here, have fun. And because he had done a lot of uh, photography well before. So yeah, he um, got all those lenses and stuff like that. And that was when he actually started getting into the technology stuff, though obviously not knowing about probably the thing with Anna and the hacking stuff. However, yeah, for the longest time he thought that these tattoos 
um, <laughs> or the majority of my tattoos, and I was like, mm, nope, <laughs> not at all, not at all, and, you know, and I had explained that aspect to him where it was like, no, it's to help me remember stuff, and if you actually knew how many tattoos I actually have and have tried to, to help me remember things, you would not be complaining about these. <laughs> So at some point he probably found some of my modeling pictures, which at least my modeling pictures might have been a little bit far less risque than my biological sisters. So I'll leave it at that. Thank you very much and have a good one.